Attention, all the news in this video are all from around the internet and from our sources, we deliver to you the most realistic news, make sure to listen well and you can turn on the caption. Luke Shaw in scathing assessment of Manchester United after Southampton draw. Luke Shaw admitted Manchester United are not good enough and there's no way, they can get into the Champions League spots unless they improve quickly after a 1-1 draw with Southampton. The Red Devils had a bright first half against the Saints, taking the lead through Jadon Sancho, but tailed off badly and conceded an equaliser to Che Adams. While United created more chances late on, they were far from convincing and Southampton looked as likely to get a winner as the home side at Old Trafford. As recently as Tuesday night, United took the lead against Burnley before relinquishing it and finishing the game 1-1 and Shaw is frustrated to see the same thing happen again. He knows the team need to improve significantly just to finish fourth in the Premier League and, even if performances don't get better, they need to learn how to grind out results. History is repeating itself again, Shaw told the BBC. We started really well the first 20 minutes, got the goal and it just happened again. We know it's not good enough and it needs to change quickly. We want to get in the Champions League and it's not good enough and there's no way we will get in Champions League if we keep dropping points. The most important thing at the moment is results. It's about picking up the points and we need to be climbing the table. The Red Devils are still well in the hunt for fourth place, with the draw at Old Trafford leaving them fifth, level on points with West Ham in fourth. However, Arsenal in sixth are just one point behind with two games in hand and Tottenham in seventh are four points behind but with three games in hand, so the race is very much on between those four clubs. Paul Scholes slams Ralph Rangnick's appointment as Manchester United manager. Manchester United legend Paul Scholes has criticised the appointment of sporting director Ralph Rangnick as manager, saying it was clear that Southampton had a proper coach after the 1-1 draw at Old Trafford. Rangnick has only had two years as a manager in the last 10 years, at RB Leipzig from 2015-16 and 2018-19 while spending the rest of the last decade in director of football roles, which Scholes feels is clear to see. It's been a bad six or seven months, the sack for old Gunnar Solskjaer was coming, we all knew that, but where was the plan? Scholes said on BT Sport. You'd think there has to be a plan, they must be brining in an elite, top football coach into the football club to revive the situation. It's Man United, they should have the best of everything. To not have a plan and bring in a sporting director. I think he's coached a team two years out of the last 10 years. Don't get me wrong, I like the man, I think he comes across really well, but he looks like he's lacked experience in coaching over the last five or six years, whatever it's been. The Red Devils legend feels Ralph Hazenhuttle at Southampton is an example of someone who has coached his team well and it is clear what the difference is between the sides. It's a team of individuals, Skoll said of United. You look at the difference from the Man United team to Southampton. One team have got a proper coach, the other team have got a sporting director, which can't be right for Manchester United. The five strikers on Manchester United's shortlist after Ralph Rangnick confirms transfer intentions. Manchester United have at least five strikers on their transfer shortlist for the summer as they look to replace veteran frontman Edinson Cavani, according to reports. The 34-year-old will leave Old Trafford when his contract expires at the end of the season, while there are also question marks over the long-term future and suitability of 37-year-old teammate Cristiano Ronaldo. A new forward is now United's top priority in the summer transfer window and interim boss Ralph Rangnick has already stated that the club should be targeting a top-quality replacement. This is obvious, said the German of United's need for a new frontman. Edinson's contract is running out in the summer and the club needs the best possible centre forward. I think everyone is aware of that. According to BBC Sport, United have long-standing interest in Borussia Dortmund superstar Erling Haaland, someone Rangnick, who will take up a consultancy role when he steps down as manager, knows very well having brought him to Red Bull Salzburg from Molde. The Norwegian, though, has rejected a move to Old Trafford in the past and there will be enormous competition for his signature in the summer with the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid and Manchester City all interested. Another player long linked with a move to United is Tottenham forward Harry Kane, and Mauricio Pochettino would be keen on a reunion with the England skipper in Manchester should he land the United gig. 
There are three more names on United's shortlist according to the BBC, with Inter Milan striker Lautaro Martinez, who signed a new contract with the Serie A Shoms at the end of last year, also being monitored. United could also battle Arsenal for Real Sociedad striker Alexander Asak. The Gunners had tried to sign the Swede in January but Sociedad were adamant they would not accept anything less than his £70 million buyout clause, though both Arsenal and United will feel they can negotiate a better value deal in the summer. Bayer Leverkusen forward Patrick Schick, who has netted 18 Bundesliga goals this season, is the fifth and final name on United's shortlist. According to the BBC, Rangnick is a known admirer of the Czech Republic international, having also brought him to RB Leipzig, and would be keen on a reunion. Manchester United boss Ralph Rangnick lays down challenge to Jadon Sancho as form improves. Ralph Rangnick has revealed he had several conversations with Jadon Sancho to help improve his performances and has challenged the Manchester United star to continue his progress for the rest of the season. The 21-year-old has only netted one Premier League goal since moving to Old Trafford and is yet to register a single assist, though he has looked increasingly dangerous since being switched to the left wing in recent weeks. Asked about Sancho's improvement since moving to the left wing, Rangnick told MUTV, he did, but this was necessary. We had quite a few conversations just between Jaden and myself. The same with Marcus Rashford, I also think Marcus played quite well at Burnley in the first half. As I said, I've known Jaden for four or five years now. When he was 17, I was trying to lure him to Leipzig. This is the kind of performance that we need, that he should play regularly on a permanent basis. Also for him, he can still get better and improve his performances but, so far, in the last weeks, there was a development in a positive way. He's in good shape right now and it's about making sure he can play on this kind of level continuously. On Sancho's burgeoning relationship with left-back Luke Shaw, and how important their understanding is, Rangnick continued, very important, both defensively and offensively. We had quite a few moments offensively with underlap or overlap situations. Also the goal that we scored was exactly that kind of situation with an underlap from Luke Shaw and a perfectly played ball to Paul Pogba. Yes, it's important, on the left side, I agree this happened in the last couple of games between Luke and Jaden. Now we have to make sure this happens on the right side. 